what's up guys it's castro in this video this is going to be a beginner's tutorial for how to make beats for lil dirk um this is just going to be like a real basic tutorial so let's get right into it hey cash let's go crazy all right so because this is going to be more like a beginner's tutorial um you probably don't have a lot of plugins so i recommend using flex it's been around for a minute but it's got a whole bunch of good presets on it and they have really good pianos for being just a free plugin. So I like to go with a lot of the light versions. So we'll do stage grand light. And we're just gonna build a real simple melody. So let's get right into it. All right, as far as the scale, um, you can be in whatever kind of key you wanna be in. It just kind of depends on how, where you want the 808 to hit. And I'll explain that later, but for right now, um, a lot of the beats they kind of make in are in like D minor, like F minor, like F sharp minor or something like that. But you definitely want to make sure you're in a minor scale. So to do that, you just go view, scale highlighting, and then this is the root note that you can pick. And then just always make sure you're on minor for those like dark type of vibes. So we're going to do D minor. And then we're just going to build out a simple melody. So we're going to start off with the root note. And his melodies are real fast, so we're gonna make a just a real fast melody. Also, the tempo um, you want to have it kind of more around like 150 to 160, and then all right. So, like I said, the the melodies are real simple, really repetitive. Uh, so we're just gonna build this out all the way and then now we'll just add a baseline to this and we might add more to it but we'll see all right so for the baseline it's also going to be real simple it's just d and then it drops down to a sharp and then a and that just gives it like a dark vibe to it And then now we're just going to switch up the very end of it right here, just to give a little bit of variation. All right, so just add a bit of variation in there. And now... So I'm going to turn down the whole piano a bit it's kind of hitting too aggressive for now so we want it to be a little softer so we'll leave it like right there add the soft clipper because you don't want to forget about that and all right so we're going to add an orchestral sound to this and i'm also going to be using a stock plugin for this it's called citrus it's a great plugin they got a whole bunch of sounds so you can just see like the library of sounds they have so uh, we're going to use this preset right here and let's uh, build a melody real quick. All right, that's good. We'll just keep it real simple. I'm gonna add some reverb to this. Cut out the low end. Also on the piano too, I gotta go back and cut out all that low end. Keep the low end about like 100 to 150 range like where you cut off because also you don't want to cut off too much of it and have it sound like you talk like you're hearing it through a phone or something you know so keep it around here all right so i just switched up that piano sound real quick i wasn't really messing with it but we're gonna keep this 
I just wanted to find like a real simple sound that could still sound good, you know? So we'll keep this and then now we'll move on to the drums. And then really you can just add rolls wherever you want. Um, what I like to do is kind of just lay the, the hi-hat and the clap first and then I'll go with the 808 and then from the bounce of the 808 I kind of determine where I add the rolls to the hi-hat so we'll start off with this and then we'll add a clap to it a bit of reverb uh, EQ to the clap just kind of add some of that lower that mid-range into it all right now we can add the 808 and always make sure you go to this little tool right here and you cut it because you don't want the note blending into the next note when it hits so Now with the, the bounce that, um, you know, these, these type of beats have, they have more of like a doom, 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 so. with the 808 this is just a regular spins 808 you can find this 808 anywhere i mean producer grind has it on their website for free you can just download it straight from there for free that's not me advertising them either it's just like they just make it easy to find it so but once you have this if you already have this 808 um what you can do is cut this out knob i usually cut it to about 50 percent and then this eq i kind of raise it up to about 50 percent too and that's just really going to make it knock. It's going to make it hit harder. So. I'm going to make all these notes long like this. And then you can go back to this 808 right here. And if you don't already know what this does, is it controls the, the note. So it'll stop right away. Uh, once the note stops and I mean this if you don't know this already you're gonna have this engraved in your head so just like that and then now when the note plays it'll control it so if I want it to stop right here it'll stop right there we can make it even shorter so you get the idea so I kind of like to have it stop certain parts so right here I'll add one subtle but kind of adds a little more to the bounce and then I'm gonna bring this all the way I'm gonna have it merged so it's not uh, stereo separated and then now we can go back to the hi-hats and I'm gonna add some rolls in there
not too many rolls or nothing like that, nothing crazy, but just enough to add that bounce to it. Alright, so I also like to add an open hat. And I'll just have it hit in the beginning. Just a real simple kind of. So I hit like this. I'm gonna switch it up. Yeah. Yeah, it just makes it hit harder. You can add like a perk too, kind of add a little more bounce to the drums. So, Alright, so that's pretty much it. It's a real basic tutorial, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. Alright, peace.